artificial intelligence is very new technique, um, especially uh, artificial intelligence on PET CT scans, uh, which we uh, performed uh, in our uh, study. And uh, it's a whole new field, actually. Um, a lot of uh, things have to be uh, worked out, I think, uh, in the future. Um, for, for my project, uh, we analyzed uh, PET CT scans uh, for uh, CAR T cell patients. So uh, we did AI techniques on the PET CT and uh, find out that uh, the AI technique can predict which patient will respond to CAR T cell therapy and which patient will not respond. So there. Um, is absolutely an unmet need in CAR T cell therapy to uh, to improve patient selection because it's a very expensive uh, treatment and uh, it's a burden for patients. Uh, it's a very heavy treatment uh, with a lot of toxicity. So it's very important that we improve patient selection, and there. Um, AI can be very helpful, I think. Um, for every CAR T cell patient, uh, a PET CT is, uh, um, is made. Uh, so that's standard of care. And uh, with our AI model, we can predict uh, with um, a very high certainty which patient will not respond to the, to the therapy. So, um, of course, this is only uh, uh, one data set that we use, so we have to validate this in, uh, in other data sets and uh, see if we can move this AI model uh, forward to, to the clinic um, and uh, see if, if this can help us uh, improve patient selection. Um, and uh, of course, uh, there are a lot of other uh, AI techniques that we could use, not only on PET-CT scans, but for instance also um, on the biopsies, on uh, molecular uh, biology, uh, look, for instance, uh, circulating tumor DNA. Um, there's a lot of uh, things you can think of. Um, so yeah, a, a long way to go, but this is, I think, the first step towards uh, implementing AI in, uh, in hematology, uh, uh, in CAR T cell therapy. For doctors, it's always difficult um, uh, to accept an answer uh, and you don't know why you got this answer because this is a bit big problem of AI. Uh, it's a big black box. So um, you got an answer out of the AI. So in this case, the patient responds or the patient will not respond. Um, but why you got why uh, you got this answer that is not known. So uh, there's an, also a technique that's called explainable AI. So um, you need a lot of data. Uh, so actually, we need uh, a lot of real-world data, for instance, uh, to find out uh, why this AI uh, is, is telling us uh, that this patient won't respond. Because if we know why, then we maybe can do something about it before we give the CAR T cell. So um, uh, this is act actually uh, something that we would like to do uh, to do this explainable AI uh, technique. So um, uh, there are uh, techniques to do this. Uh, it's known. But the problem always with AI is that you need a lot of bulk of data, yeah.